All right, so I have an MTD log splitter that has a Tecumseh motor that's in pretty bad shape. Get my shadow out of the way there. Uh, this motor's not quite worth fixing. It's got way too many issues. So we're going to swap the motor. The guy that um, I gave him some options didn't want to put a new motor on, wanted a used motor. So when we do used motors on these, the biggest problem you have is these little motors are basically lawnmower motors, but there's some differences. Other than the throttle and how you kill it, flywheel brake, the big difference is the flywheel. So similar to Cumsy motor, you see here, this one came off of a lawnmower and it's got a light aluminum flywheel. So they save a few bucks by making this light because you mount a blade on the bottom of the crank that keeps enough inertia to keep it turning. So you can't take a lawnmower engine and put it on a log splitter or a pressure washer or some application that doesn't have a blade unless you have a flywheel to swap along with it. Whereas this one has a big cast iron flywheel. So what I have is I have pressure washer, got an overhead valve Briggs. That's a good engine with a bad pump as many of these are. So I'm gonna take that motor and put it on the splitter. Little motors are pretty easy. Just three bolts hold it on. That's the last one. Everything on this engine is covered in oil. And off she goes. Dumping out oil everywhere. So engine's off. I can see a problem I'm gonna have here. That's got a short little stubby crank on it. Pressure washer motor I got crankshaft that's a lot longer so what I'll have to do is measure and uh, take a hacksaw cut off this crank to make it same length as the other one all right so we can either use a hacksaw or I like my little angle grinder So I've now cut this so short that I basically cut off. There's almost no hole left, but I don't need a bolt to go in. All I need is that to go on, be able to attach from the side. So I'll cut this down so we have keyway. We should be good to go. My next problem, this engine's not fitting. This sump cover has an extended oil drain which goes down. And either I need to cut a hole here so that this will fit, or find a different sump cover that doesn't have that extended oil drain, which I think is the way I'm going to try to go. So I have an old flathead motor, and I believe the sump covers were the same on the old flatheads. This one actually had the crank I needed, as on the uh, overhead valve. So we're going to pop off this sump and see if they're the same. All right, let's see what these look like. These over. Let's down here. Yeah, here side by side. So this one has an oil channel right here. That's the problem. This one's raised up, just like my other motor. Otherwise, I'd say these two are identical. So I'm gonna see if I have a gasket. As long as I do, I'll swap that onto here, and we should be good. This is the hardest part on this, is uh, scraping off the old gasket, which is a 
kind of slow and painstaking process, but got to be done. All right, old gasket scraped off. New one's on. Different sump cover. Drop that on there. Usually lightly tap it. There it goes. And we'll bolt her on. Right, with the new sump on, now it sits all the way down. Don't have that little oil drain hitting the body right there. I've taken it back off. I tried to bolt it on, but it was sitting on the crank. It's just about an eighth of an inch too much. So I'm going to shave off just a little bit more. 